Hey guys, Anthony here, Brighton Realtor. Uh, today's video is just gonna be a really quick market update. I hope everybody's having an amazing day. I hope this video is catching you at a time where, I don't know, you're just feeling good about yourself and you wanted to jump on and, you know, see how the Brighton market's doing. So that's what we're gonna go over today. Hey guys, sweet, welcome back. Uh, so for those of you that are new, my name is Anthony Owens. I am a real estate agent in Colorado, and I focus just on the Brighton greater area for now. Week by week, I try and jump on and give you a market update to let you know kind of where the housing market is, if it's a buyer's market, if it's a seller's market, what the median price is, things like that, if we're cooling off, if we're starting to heat up. Like, I just wanna be that source for you guys. So real quick, uh, the Brighton greater, I'd say like the Brighton greater area, um, we are looking at the market action index. That score, again, that's a scale of zero to 100. Uh, 30 and below would indicate that we're in a buyer's market. And then 30 above, all the way up to 100, that would indicate that we are in a seller's market. Last month we were 87 and that was cooling down from 96, 94, 92, 90, all the way down to 87 in the last few months. Right now we are at an 84. So that means that it is starting to cool down just a little bit but I wouldn't hold your breath. Right now the prices are still steady. The median average price in Brighton is $600,000 for your average home. So $600,000, what does that get you in Brighton? It gets you a home that's just typically just a few years old and we're somewhere around like four, three to four bedrooms, two to three baths, about a couple thousand square feet, a good size home for a family. Market conditions have been consistently cooling in the past several weeks, like I said, because we're still in the seller zone, prices have not yet begun to drop. It may take a few more weeks of slack demand for prices to reflect and begin to fall. Expect prices to fall if the index persistently falls to the buyer zone. So like I had mentioned earlier, if we are 30 or below, then that's gonna indicate that it's a buyer's market. We're still at 84. So we got a long ways to go. Yes, it has come down just a little bit over the last couple of months, but again, if you are a buyer out there and you've got a realtor or you're working with me, like you know, it's really, really hard to find houses right now. Uh, typically, like rewind a few years ago, we'd have three or 400 houses available for sale and there'd be, you know, a couple hundred people in the, in the Brighton greater area looking for a home at any given time or somebody outside trying to move in. We have 99 right now. As of right now, on average, we got about 99 homes and you better believe there's a couple hundred people out there with realtors looking to buy houses. So it is still very competitive. We're not seeing $60,000, $70,000 over asking. Right now, I'm definitely seeing five to fifteen dollars to $20,000 above asking and we're waiving contingencies and, and rights to inspections and all that stuff. But that that's still going on in our market today. All right, one more thing before I close out the video. There's something really cool and exciting. Uh, if you live in Brighton Crossings, Pheasant Ridge, like over in that area on the uh, east side of Brighton, uh, you've got the Bromley at uh, Brighton Crossing, the brand new luxury apartment homes. We just found out that right in front of it, there's gonna be two things. One is gonna be a, it looks like a, an urgent care facility, which will be fine. There's a lot of people that, that are gonna need that over that area. But another thing where the 7-Eleven is right across the street that's connected to the Bromley is Murphy Express. So I don't think, no, we do have one in Brighton that's on Bromley across from Walmart. So it's a different flavor of convenience stores and they got all kinds of different stuff there. So I'm looking forward to checking that out. What do you guys think? Have you been in Murphy Express? Like what, what's the difference? What, what do they have that a come and go or 7-Eleven doesn't have? Cause I don't know. Like, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Um, so yeah, yeah, that's it for today's episode. I appreciate your time, effort, love, and support. If you've got a second, please consider subscribing and then also smash that like button because it does help with the channel. We'll see you guys on the next video. See ya.